Hey everybody, uh, here's another review. Um, I got a request a couple of days ago to test a uh, a version of Zone Alarm. Um, I think it's a beta version, 9.0.114. I think it was Extreme Security or something like that. So I went and downloaded it. It's a pretty big downloader. It's uh, 110 megabytes. So I'm going to install it just like I normally do and uh, I'm going to pause the video and if anything interesting comes up during the install process I'll unpause it. If not, I'll see you when uh, the installer is done. See you in a few. Okay, so um, we got the Zone Alarm uh, Configuration Wizard here. We're going to do a default in uh, install. We're going to enable the antivirus. So I guess it's going to do a uh, quick scan right now. So I'm going to pause it. Oh, never mind. It's going to be quick. It's probably just scanning memory. Make sure there's uh, not nothing installed in there. So it's going to restart the computer. So I'll be back when the restart's done. OK, so Zone Alarm is uh, starting up right now. And we are finishing the install. Okay, and this is extreme security version, like I said. So we will uh, check for updates. And this is probably going to take a little bit, so I'm going to pause it again while it's updating because I'm sure it's got a lot of updates to get. And I'll be back when it's all done getting its updates. Okay, so the update finished. Um, I'm just going to go over uh, Zone Alarm Extreme Security real quick with you just to show you what modules it has. There's the firewall module, like we normally do like it normally has. There's a program control. There's an antivirus, anti-spyware module. There's parental controls, browser security, email protection, identity protection, and you know alerts and logs. Um, I haven't touched anything. It's just like it comes from the install, stock install. So um, let's uh, get started with whoop, uh, I can't accidentally click on malware bytes there. Now, as you can see, it looks like this browser is sandboxed. I'm sure it has that. That's probably part of its browser protection module. Let's check it out real quick here. Er, there it is. Phishing sites, keyloggers, drive-by downloads. Let's see what happens when I turn force field off. Yep, see? That goes away. So I think it runs the browser in pretty much like a sandbox. Okay, so we'll keep going kind of nice, kind of interesting. We'll start out with the first site here. First link, whatever you want to call it. We will run this file and it cut it. So even if we hit yes, nothing will happen. Now Zone Alarm uses the Kaspersky signature files, so I'm sure almost everything will be caught by by those. Okay, so this one was caught by the Zone Alarm browser security scan. So we will, um, it says, found this file to be malicious. Phone's ringing. Known spyware. So we will delete this file. Oh, that one's dead, I remember that, and so is that one. and that one got blocked site status dangerous site it's known to distribute spyware you are safe now I think that one's dead also okay and that one was caught by the signatures. So even if we hit yes, nothing will happen. 
I think the scanner one is dead also. Yep. I'm sure the patch one here doesn't work either. I know the last three always do. Earlier this morning when I was doing some of my other reviews, they were working, but they stopped working. And that one was quarantined, caught by the signature. And by the uh, browser security. And that one was caught by signatures and browser security. It even says not recommended not to continue. Recommended to delete the file. It's pretty pretty interesting there. It says wait. The regular scan could not verify this file safety. Let's do an advanced heuristic scan on it and see what happens. So what it's doing right now, it's being downloaded, opened, and run in a safe virtual space where you can observe where they can observe its behavior. So it's gonna run it and see what happens. See if it finds any problems with it. So this seems to be taking a little bit, so I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so the scan just finished, uh, and it actually caught it. It said the file is malicious, so that's good, and we will delete that file. And what I'm going to do now, I really like this browser, this force field, that's pretty interesting. Uh, seems to actually have done the job a couple times, um, especially on that last one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a full system scan. for details and right now it's scanning the memory Let me make sure I do a full system scan firewall antivirus okay product info antivirus okay here we go scan now okay so it is doing a full scan and I'm gonna wait for this to finish and I'll be back when it's all done okay so uh, the uh, zone alarm scan finished and it didn't find anything so I'm gonna do what I normally do I'm gonna install Malwarebytes here and uh, I'm gonna give it a scan now it uh, should have caught everything it shouldn't even be anything in temporary internet files because most of these got I think that most of them got stopped before they even got on the computer so hopefully nothing will be there, but uh, even if it is, I hope uh, most of them are... Well, we'll see. We'll see how well it stopped stuff. I would imagine it did a good job, uh, mainly because it uses a very good signature set from Kaspersky, and that's probably one of my favorite programs if you're going to pay for antivirus. That's definitely what I would go with. So it's fully updated here. And I'm going to do a quick scan like I normally do, and I will be back when this is done. Okay, so Malwarebytes just finished scanning, and as you can see, it found zero objects. So, um, Zone Alarm did a great job of uh, protecting the system. Uh, let's see what kind of usage we get out of uh, Zone Alarm here. Okay, so we have Force Field. I know that's part of it, so that's 5 megs. Uh, whatever that service is, I'm pretty sure that's part of it. That's 4 megs. And the client here, and uh, maybe use this one too. So, I mean, it doesn't even seem to be using up a lot of RAM, uh, which is nice. I think that one's there too. That's the anti spam. I think that's all it uses. So maybe it uses, I don't know, 15 megs. Maybe. That's not bad at all. Definitely not bad. I don't know how it would affect uh, the computers, you know, how fast the computer is and all that, but it's not bad at all. So I definitely give uh, Zone Alarm here a uh, 8. 8 out of 10, maybe 9. 8 to 9. So there you go. That's my review on Zone Alarm Extreme Security.